I started college as a computer science freshman who had no prior programming experience. Fast forward five years later, I graduated with two degrees in computer science, I spent three summers interning at FANG, and I secured a six-figure salary to start my career as a software engineer. All in all, I was able to accomplish a lot as a computer science major, but if I could go back in time, I would still do things a lot differently because I had to learn a lot of things the hard way. But since time machines don't exist yet, I offer my advice to you instead, the next generation of computer science students. Hey everyone, I'm John, your friend in tech. If you're new, I'm a software engineer working at a fan company based in the Bay Area. And in today's video, I'm going to share five tips I wish I knew before I studied computer science that would have helped me be a better student and would have helped me land internships and jobs sooner. With that said, let's just get straight into it. My first tip is to learn the basics of programming before starting school. Classes in college go by really fast. My college was on a quarter system, and if you're not familiar with it, it's about four weeks of classes, then you have your midterms, then another four weeks, and then you have your finals. So it's very, very easy to fall behind. So as someone who had no programming experience, of course it was very hard for me to pick up all these new concepts. I definitely struggled in the beginning trying to learn the basic concepts like variables, for loops, conditions, Additionals, functions, everything. And it's easy to feel like an imposter, like you don't belong when the material is hard. And I think that's why a lot of people drop computer science as their major because it's pretty intimidating when your peers seem to just get it and you don't. But understand that learning takes time and it's going to take a lot of practice. I wish I had taken the initiative to at least learn a little bit of programming before starting my courses so that I could get a head start on school and to really set myself up to succeed from day one. Nowadays, there's so many resources that you can use to learn how to program. There's videos here on YouTube, there's online courses that you can do at your own pace and there's even summer camp programs specifically for the youth to learn about computer science. Which brings me to today's sponsor, AI Camp. AI Camp is offering an online summer program where students will spend three weeks working in a small group to build and deploy an AI product. At AI Camp, you can learn AI with zero coding experience. AI Camp enables students to explore the AI field before going to college or locking themselves into a career path. Students can explore different domains of machine learning and past students have worked on amazing cool projects like using natural language processing to differentiate between real and fake news online. Last summer, AI Camp gave 10% of students a full scholarship and around 60% received a partial scholarship to attend. If you or anyone you know would be interested, use my link in the description below to find out more information and to apply. Thank you again to AI Camp for sponsoring this video. My next tip is to learn how to learn. As a college student, your job is to learn. You're going to be spending a lot of time studying, so it's worth the effort to figure out how to study effectively and efficiently. There's the quote by Abe Lincoln, if I only had an hour to chop down a tree, I would spend the first 45 minutes sharpening my axe. You can spend hours and hours studying, but if you're not studying effectively, you're pretty much wasting your time. I used to be a crammer. I would stay up late at night and sometimes even pull all-nighters just trying to cram all this knowledge into my brain. And honestly, I was able to pass my test this way, but I'd easily forget the material afterwards and then I'd have to repeat this horrible process again for the next test and ultimately I'd burn myself out because it was just like so stressful. There's a lot of science-based tips that you can use to study effectively but everyone's learning style is different and so you're going to have to experiment and figure out what works best for you. For me, I retained information a lot better through repetition and so instead of having one or two days cramming knowledge, I would spread that out and study the same thing multiple times over multiple days and that's gonna require a lot of planning. I'm also a very visual learner so making diagrams and making flashcards really helped me out. And I also learned a lot from teaching, so I'd go to all the labs and study groups and get help from others and also help others as well. This was really life-changing and it's really night and day difference. Not only did I understand the material better, but I was less stressed and I actually had more time in my day to enjoy life and hang out with friends. Which brings me to my next point, make a lot of friends and acquaintances in your major. It's really great to have people you know in your major because these are the people that you're going to be spending a lot of time with in and out of class. Have people that you can go to when you need help with homework, have people you can go to when you need notes in case you miss class for whatever reason, and it's also important that you're able to do this in return because relationships are a two-way street. A lot of the software engineering courses are group projects and so it's great to work with friends that you can rely on and trust, otherwise you might get stuck with people that don't do their work and that always sucks. It's also great to be friends with students who are in their second year, third year, fourth year, or above. These are the people who have taken the classes that you want to take. They can tell you which classes are fun, which professors to avoid, and they can provide provide other tips on how to survive college and how to get jobs and internships because they've already experienced it themselves or they're going through the process. It's also important to remember that you're effectively building your professional network while you're in college. I'm friends with people that work at Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google, and I would feel comfortable asking them for a referral because we know each other from college. My next tip is to build projects outside of class. 
Computer science courses are a lot about learning the fundamentals of programming as well as a lot of the theory and math related to computing. And that's great, but if you want to be a software engineer, you're going to want to learn and practice building software. After my first year of college, I knew how to write functions, but I didn't really know how to build software. And I think this lack of experience really hindered me from getting an internship after my first year. So because I didn't have an internship after my first year of college, I spent part of that summer working on an online course I found on Udemy on how to build a simple web app. And I think the course is really old now so I don't want to recommend it because I don't know if it's outdated or not but basically it was a tutorial on how to build a blog so it takes two inputs the title and text and saves it to a database. It was honestly such a great learning experience because I was able to use all the theory that I learned from college but actually have the practical knowledge of building something. I highly 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 recommend this approach because not only will you learn a lot but you'll also have projects to add to your resume and you'll also be able to talk about these projects when you interview for jobs and internships. Speaking of which, the next thing I wish I knew was to apply to jobs and internships early. A lot of tech companies will open up applications for their new grads and internship programs super early, around the same time that school starts. If you want to work at a fame company, these are really competitive and so I highly recommend you to apply early because there's only so many internship spots. If your school has networking opportunities like a career fair where tech companies will come on campus to interview candidates, I highly recommend going to that. But if not, don't worry, you can always apply directly online. So my first year, I attended a tech talk by Google and that's when I first learned about all the awesome perks that employees and interns have, like free food, free gym, free massages, free fun events. It was so awesome and, and I was really hooked. I really wanted to work there. It was like my, my dream job. I was hesitant to apply because I had just started learning to program. Why would Google hire me as an intern? And after a while, I decided I had nothing to lose by applying. So I went on the website to apply and the applications were closed. The deadline had passed and honestly, this hurt so much because I felt Felt like I could have had it but I just took too long to apply. Learn from my mistakes and plan on applying early. This includes everything from setting up your resume to writing a cover letter to preparing for interviews which can take a really long time and I highly recommend starting that early. Do your future self a favor and make a list of all the companies you would want to work at. Go to their website to figure out when their applications open and what they're looking for in terms of a resume and cover letter and then put it all in a spreadsheet so that you never miss a deadline. Good news is that I did learn from my experience and so I was able to apply the next year as a sophomore and long story short I ended up getting it because I did all this preparation in advance. As a little bonus I asked my Instagram followers if they had any tips for the next generation of computer science students and here are some of the replies. Being a computer science major is not easy but it's so rewarding. I'm happy with my experience because I'm now a software engineer and honestly I really love it. Check out this next video to see five reasons why I love being a software engineer. So thank you for watching let me know if this was helpful and feel free to share any tips you have in the comments below. Remember to like like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.